so uh, at this point, we actually get to the fun, the mechanical bits are out of the way. So uh, if you turn kind of to your back sheet, uh, let's go ahead and go around the table, introduce your character, uh, kind of what they sound like, uh, what you're good at, maybe what some of your skills are, and, and then we'll, we'll kind of figure out what your relationships to each other are. So, um, Sean, you want to start us off? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm Borlo. I am, uh, I am of the Orondo tribe, which are elephant men. Um, so I have a, I, I can use my trunk to grab items and reload ranged weapons, which is really cool. I'm excited about that. I imagine you also use it to, to, to make large noises as well. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'm lightly haired with gray blotchy hide. My tusks are engraved with martial patterns. Uh, I was brought up in the city of Samar and schooled in the ra ways of Gun Gunragar. Gunragar, yeah. Goddess of the forge and fire. Yeah. Her shtick is is she believes in beating her followers into the correct shape for what they're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, I <laughs> Forging was, them into something greater than they are. I was orphaned, and then a captain of the army took me under their wing and then listed me in the army, and I'm, yeah. Okay, awesome. What are, what are some of your skills? skills. What, are you, what are you good at? Oh, uh, I have a long spear, so I have a very large menace radius, <laughs> and my menace bonus is double normal. It's two instead of one. Mm -hmm. And I, as a follower of Gunragar, I have uh, spiritual magic of fire and knowledge. Which lets me light people on, light people on fire, and light people's weapons on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. Chris, I am Zan, of the Ka tribe. So I'm a bat person. Um, I have deep purple and blackish skin. Um, I. And I'm out to venture to try to find some more knowledge about the world, but also if I were to make a little money along the way, that'd be great. <laughs> I grew up as a wealthy son of a merchant family um, in Helf. Is that Haloth? Haloth. In the markets of Haloth. I uh, may have been stealing a few things. <laughs> I to be a little sneaky. <laughs> just once in a while. Um, I will do what I can to invigorate you and get you to kill things for me. <laughs> as best I can. Alright, cool. Gabriel? I'm Falcon. I am of the Kaltar. I am a badger. I like honey, so <laughs> please give me honey. And I will be your friend. Um, I was brought up in Relang, um, and I was a uh, working hand, um, hired hand at the docks um, until I found employment in the copper mines. Um, I moved to Haloth and ended up killing a burrowing worm and saving an entire city from, uh, from the cave collapsing. Um, I now seek to keep the area of Haloth safe. Um, from all the dangers that are around. Um, I am so what's, what's your goal? My goal is to, um, is to keep, uh, da, 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 what are my goals? So to keep the area safe, to keep the dangers out. Nice. Um, I'm going to make sure everyone is safe. I will protect as much as I can. With that, I have my shield, and I will slam into people as hard as I can and knock them down. And that is how I will save the realm and keep everyone protected. So I'm playing Almas, and Almas, 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 um, which is a cat-like creature, uh, Prindu. Uh, and just like any good cat, I like to go find things and discover things, which is one of my goals. I like to go make discoveries, preferably not dying in the process. Um, my background is that I came from the Tower of the Sun, 
and Can in what the Tower of the Sun. Oh, okay. Is. Yeah, it's oh. a great uh, a great uh, brass tower on the Isle of Murgos where there's lots of books, lots of reading, yeah. lots of training, both magically and martial. So, um, on that, I like to cast spells and stay in the back and find things <laughs> in fancy feast. Seems hard to yeah, find things in the back. <laughs> Well, I have nice clothes, and I am from a prosperous place, so I have a fancy cat, so I must eat fancy feast. <laughs> mm. uh, what do you know about your uh, your order? Uh, uh, my character was initiated in the cult of harmonics and hums or sings to channel magic. No, I'll not be doing that. Uh, <laughs> I know, That's right? too bad. Aww. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I'm in this. <laughs> uh, so the, the logisticians are, you know, they're very, they're into the logic and rhetoric and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And very book smart. Yes, very, very book smart. And oration is one of their big things. Right. Uh, so uh, they believe in the power of um, the vibration of their voice and how it carries stuff like that. So huh. it's pretty cool stuff. All right. So uh, if you look at the back, middle back of your sheet, everybody has a relationship. Um, so. You uh, <laughs> should, everybody needs to select a relationship with somebody else in the party, preferably someone that doesn't already have one. Uh, so, for example, um, you have your colleague of someone in the party. <coughs> yeah. One, one one who, who, yeah, who would be the be a good fit for a colleague, or who would be an interesting fit for a colleague? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys figure this out. One, two, three, I need to pick. I would, I don't know, yeah. I don't know how that would work. Uh, what about you, Tom? What okay. Why, now, why would you be a colleague? Because uh, he's bigger, meaner, and has a lot more health. And it's wonderful for him to, to take on things while I am safe in the back, able to take my time and do my studies before I cast spells. So this is interesting because uh, Barolo worships mm -hmm. Gunragar. Yes. One of Gunragar's uh, spheres of influence is knowledge. So you guys actually have a lot in common because oh, you are constantly seeking out new things and you are, this is one of your, your driving forces is knowing things, yes. learning things, etc. So, so that actually, I think, works out pretty good. And, and my list of relationship is protective, so I can be protective of you. Even better. Uh, well, you should choose somebody else in the party to be oh. protective of. You can probably, you'll probably be protective of Sure. Just by dint of whatever, but okay. Um, you look pretty beefy, so I'd say I'd be protective of you. So this is uh, this is his character. Oh, I really don't know. I think I'm average at everything. Average at everything, except for mobility. So and, run away well. and try and think about the background, the backstories, right? Like. Uh, Chris's character was a merchant, um, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, likes to stay in the back. Um, Dalkian is kind of a frontline fighter, likes to oh, okay. kind of ham it up a little bit, uh, a little bit famous. Gotcha. That kind of thing. But you're a bodyguard. Mm -hmm. In that case, <laughs> I'll, I'll be protective of Zan. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Because. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a friendly rival, and I'm thinking that's probably going to be a uh, creature named Galkin. Mm -hmm. Because people want to give you money just to be there, and I like have to calm them out. It's <laughs> not fair. So, so far, nobody likes me, and I have a rival. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, it's a friendly rival. Mm -hmm. So, yours is Savior. So, you are either saved by or saved somebody here at the table. Oh God. Uh, not you, obviously. What? <laughs> Look, it's friendly. It. <laughs> it's, it's a friendly, friendly right? Well, it's oh, I'm very friendly. friendly. You just have like like money for loss. free. I don't. That's not the, hmm? like the leg loss and uh, what's this here? Yeah, 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 there we go. Mm. Back and forth. Mm. I would one. Exactly. <laughs> 306. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he twitched. Maybe saved by. Can't be a water. 
Huh? Can't be a water. <laughs> That's right. You're just if there's any kind of water saving, not, I'm not definitely okay. not okay not with the cat. Well, because you were standing on a cliff and a rock was coming and he pushed you, pushed you over. Wasn't <laughs> 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 aware that he was saving you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, perfect. Because I figure you have range weapon. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna be right in the thick of it. I mm -hmm. want somebody having my back. That I can see thing. your badge. You can Where see it. Now don't do anything <laughs> about it. You know, badgers and cats. You know? Yes. That was my, my brain. My brain. <laughs> okay, so who, who did the saving there? I didn't catch that. He would be saving me. All right. How, how what, just like, because briefly, of the range, kind yeah, of. briefly, how did that happen? Like, he's got control over Earth and things like that. Like, so as I was, you know. Well, I created a box. Right. I like created a box around us to protect them from the enemies because I don't like boxes as well. Mm. I'm going with this whole cat thing. No, I'm yeah, yeah. Box. I'm, I'm, rolling, I'm rolling with this. And it could be an ah. valuable box that I can exactly. slide like into. You know, say it's a water there. box or whatever. I, 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 I erected a box. We stayed in there and waited for the enemies to go away. We outstarred them. I don't know. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is the most unusual combination I've seen between Delkin and Omus before, but I'm liking it. Right. I'm liking it. I definitely like the cat in a box uh, <laughs> thing that we got going on here. That's very nice. So, um, all right. So you guys uh, all know each other. Uh, it's been, um, uh, you have some connections, you, you kind of have some built-in things that you guys do, etc. So, um, 